Hello everyone, this is Mayuki. In last video, we talked about how to get minerals in a more productive way, and know well the game story as well as what we need to do in this game. So in this and next video, we'll focus on how to get more currency and better loot in this game. And I'll show you guys the gameplay about business and reputation. This video will explain game's economic system deeply. If you want to be rich in the game without paying money, you better know about this. So firstly, there are several kinds of currency in this game. Each of them could be exchanged in one way, which is irreversible. And every kind of them could be acquired in a specific way. The exchanging logic is shown in the picture. For convenience, I call them red coin, yellow coin, purple coin, and green coin. There are several things need to be mentioned. Number one, one-way exchange means the use of some currency is limited. For example, at the moment, only the yellow coin could be used to buy the other player's loot at trading post. When you exchange the yellow coin to the green coin, you better think over that. Do you need them to buy some equipment or some items in the future? Number two. Different currencies have its unique source. That means even if you change all the yellow coin into green coins, in the future, doing wormhole quest will give you loot. Sell them, you can still get yellow coin. So you won't keep zero yellow coin for a long time. Number three, the rate of exchange is variable, depending on the training activity of all players on that day. Number four, the numbers of resources you can exchange by each currency is limited every day. When you need a lot of one kind of mineral, one kind of currency may be not enough. You need to change it with another currency. That makes you need to keep every kind of currency for some in case of need. These rules might be a little bit hard to comprehend, but understanding the relationship between currencies will help you to quickly obtain a particular resource. For example, when you need minerals, then you exchange yellow to purple and buy minerals with purple because one yellow coin can exchange one to two purple coin. In last video, we know that mineral is the key of player's development. For now, green and purple coin are the two best currencies to buy minerals. The more both currencies, the more development space you have. And the business is the main way you can get purple coin. So master the business, you get more development. And next, I'm going to talk about business and many tips about it. In short, low price buying, high price selling. How to do that? Speed real time to transport stuffs. And there are two types of transportation. Firstly, I'm going to talk about normal stuffs. At first, open business panel and choose pilot business. Then you will be able to see the items for sale. You can switch nations to see different items. When you reach high reputation with nations, you can choose other advanced items. You can choose the right sellers and buyers by pricing sorting, and find the location by tapping the jump numbers. Tap gold to undock. The selling part is operated exactly the same, and I recommend to use the price sorting firstly to view item prices and determine the selection of NPC. The best sellers and buyers are generally very far away, like this lowest one, 20 jumps, the highest one, 80 jumps, and they are just in the opposite direction. The sum will be 70 to 80 jumps, that's horrible. So you can choose an NPC. Its price is a little bit higher, but distance is much shorter to greatly improve efficiency. Prices and items determined, and there are two ways to transport. The first is real-time auto farm jumping. The second is relocating home base. The first is easy to play. Choose your ship, NPC, and go. The config is, do not equip weapon, but equip an energy recharger and shield recharger and all of expanded cargo space to component. Then here we go. Put your game aside until you get the location. The point here is, the choice of ship, big or small ship, the speed, warp speed, and cargo space are all different. You need to test the config based on the distance and numbers of stuffs. You have to figure that out for yourself. In addition, some ships have warping bonus. Pay attention to it. The second is to move your base. This method requires some luck and it takes more time. Select the best seller and relocate your base to his solar system. After relocation, 
you can trade with NPC directly. Your space warehouse is here, so it's unlimited space for the item. You can consume all of your yellow coin to buy it. But there are some problems here. First is time. Normally, relocation is need much time, but the trade price will refresh for a certain time. So maybe when your relocation is successful, the price is sold will be higher or it is just sold out. That's why I say you need some luck. To solve this problem, you need to know the refreshing time. As long as the price refreshes, jump to the lowest price location immediately to buy it. And the next refreshing time, jump to the highest price location to sell it. Such a sale may take you one or two days to complete, but each time the trading volume is very large. So you need to combine your game with your real time to make arrangements. The above is related to the first type of transport. I put the summary on the screen. Next, I'm gonna talk about contraband transport. The second type, contraband transport, you can't do it by auto farm, or you can't leave your game alone for too much time. Because you are transporting contraband, you will be attacked by customs. At first, we talk about how to obtain contraband. When you accomplish the quest, enemy will drop loot, and probably you will get contraband storage case. Use it in warehouse and you will get contraband. And then you can sell them in pilot business. This number represents the number you have. If there is no number, it means that you don't have that kind of thing. You can see that no one is buying this thing now, and some have a refresh time. Then you only choose to wait. Set it as soon as possible after buyer appears. The next step is the choice of ship. I personally suggest the frigate. Its speed is fast, and the time to start warp is short too. Some frigates will have this feature. The max speed of the ship's warping is increased. It is a ship feature. You only need to get its level 1 license, then you can use frigate. Every level 1 license for frigate is very easy to pass. Next, explain its configuration. Basic energy and shield recharger, and a wide rank shield extender to increase shield, and an active control engine that reduces the inertia factor that allows you to jump fast enough. This is a very good config, you will see later. Then it's about finding the right buyer and getting the right ship, and taking whatever you need to sell, and just going all the way. You need to watch the game because you have a purple radiation icon here. With this icon, you will be attacked by customs. Every time you start warping and stop warping, you can see my shield is reducing. So I need to repair my shield before reach warp. But my ship size is relatively small, so the custom can make big damage to me. Then I will go straight to the target space station. Open up pilot business panel to sell it, and then you can go back to home. It's totally safe now. You won't be attacked, so you can do your things when it's jumping. Next, let's look at the results of using battleship. You will see the difference at once. After leaving the station, its start warping speed is very slow compared to frigate. Then for the big size, its warping is slow, stop warping is slow. Which means from station to stargate and stargate to station, it needs much more time. That means every time it takes more time in front of stargate, it will be attacked more time. As you can see, the speed of reduction of my shield. Just two or three jumps, my shield runs out and my armor takes damage. So the big ship is what I don't recommend to do this transport. You don't need that big cargo space and it's much slower than frigate. And I find I can't handle this, I choose to go home. At final, when you warp, you will get a warp protection. This bonus will take effect no matter start or stop warping. So you don't worry about being attacked by other players when you transport your normal stuffs. So this is today's video. As long as you master the business gameplay and put it into practice, I believe in the future, as your purple coin and other currencies become more and more, your economic foundation will be better, and it will be easier to get a good ship. If it helps you, please like and subscribe. This is Mayuki, see you next time.